What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you a special video. One of speculation when it comes to Titanfall. Now, as most of you may just know, Titanfall is a game that's been really anticipated for a while now because it's next gen, it's going to be on the Xbox One, the PC, and it's going to bring a whole other spectrum of gaming to FPSs in general. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of speculation. And when I say we, I mean myself and someone else who I've been talking with this talking to you about all this for a while now. I'm introducing Reckless Yuki. How are you doing, man? What's up? How's it going, everyone? And I'm doing yeah, quite and... well. Thank you very much for asking, dear sir. Oh, no problem at all. I want to make sure everything is straight with us. But either way, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I meant that. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to um, have a little bit of a discussion because for those of you who don't know, and by the way, Yuki's channel is in the description, he actually does frequent FPSs a bit, so he does know his way around FPSs. And as you all know, I'm not exactly a first-person shooter guy myself. So Yuki here will be great for some insight in terms of like the way that the game works and certain things that Yuki knows better than I do. So I feel good having him here in this discussion. And so now just talking about the game, what is your initial thoughts about it? Like, how do you feel about this game so far? Like, do you think oh it's been living Oh my up to the God, hype? do I love this game. Like the first yes. foremost about this is like when they gave us the beta, I just fell in love with this. Absolutely. Oh, I was kind of hesitant, but I was also, you know, hoping that'll be as well as it was. And since this game was just out for the beta oh, release, man. just to kind of test out the network, you kind of, like, mm -hmm, kind of, mm -hmm. they didn't really give us everything, but they gave us enough just to play with just so they could make sure that oh. when they do officially launch it, it won't have any hiccups like pre previous CODs have yeah, or any other exactly. game, so oh, that yeah. was pretty reassuring, but just for the limited stuff they gave us, uh, just absolutely oh, in love with this game. It's amazing. It's incredible. I I totally agree with you, man. It's, I mean, like, so I've heard some people say, or rather not heard, but read, read some comments on the internet, and people saying that this game isn't exactly going to be as competitive as Call of Duty Ghosts because it lacks some of those features. But what do you think about that? Do you think this game has the potential to be seen in the same competitive light as Ghost or I, other I Call of Duty? I don't think it's as the same competitive light because Call of Duty is just six players facing each other, so the only people you are facing is the actual other players where this game is you're seeing now on the gameplay i'm just going around just kicking these grunts and you know they're just they're stupid players that allow any uh, non like uh, i guess like <laughs> any player who's not very good at the game to still get exactly. the satisfaction of shooting and killing something instead of just yeah. being completely dominated like call of duty yeah you can stab these guys with butter knives and kill them and you'll be <laughs> a okay yeah it's, yes you can <laughs> yeah it's so as far as the competitive scene, I don't see it as being as competitive as COD. Like it's not going to replace Call of Duty, but it gives us something fresh and new to play. Like something for anyone who's not really that serious that just likes to run around and shoot shit. I mean, this is the perfect game for that, I feel. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree with you there. I think that this will definitely be a more welcome experience for casual players because it does have, as you can see right now, the the... This game has to be like high up on the list when it comes to the amount of crazy shit that happens, and <laughs> with the explosions and the and the parkour. And by the way, it, like with with everything that's in this game, a casual player I can see a casual player picking this up and enjoying themselves way more than picking up a competitive game at first, like Call of Duty. You know, I like, I'm a definitely. casual myself. You know, I'm like you you know I. I I'm not exactly a person that frequents FPSs, right? You know? Yes, I agree. Like, uh, yeah. just talking to people I know from like work or any other place, the reason why a lot of people don't like Call of Duty is because the instant they pick it up, they're already, they're already behind the curve. So mm -hmm. the learning curve is very steep for you to start being very good at the game before you can start doing the things that you see the other players do. And so yeah. it's, not, it's not really fun getting your teeth kicked in constantly. Like, I know I got my teeth kicked in plenty of times before I started yeah, making right. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, pull that fucker out. Oh, God. That's a no. Oh, my God. The best thing another. about this game, like, the most satisfying thing is doing that, I must say. Like, right? Oh, man. Yeah, tell me about it. Is that, <laughs> like, it doesn't get any more, it doesn't get any more satisfying than that. You're like... I agree. Ah, boy. Yeah, and, and, and then that brings us to another point of discussion. The Titans themselves, man. How do you feel about the integration of such a crazy feature inside I, of an FPS? I was worried about the Titans because I thought the Titans might be this like ungodly overpowered thing, whereas mm -hmm. if the opposing team just has, you know, fully stacked Titans, then what were you going to do? I thought it was yeah. just going to be like a one-sided fight at that point. Yeah, like a beatdown. But right? they really balanced it where you can't rely on your Titans to just go in and take abuse and try to, you know, mm -hmm. like overpower the opposing players. Like, 
they have their place in the game and so Dude. running around as just a regular pilot on foot like i'm doing now you can yeah. easily overtake a pilot or at least a titan who's not very skilled at the game so it all depends on the skill of the other person but then you know you could easily overtake them it's not going to be something that uh, can't be you know like they're not going to have the upper hand always yeah exactly that's exactly what i feel in fact to be honest with you man i mean with my experience with playing this now like beforehand just to clarify certain things with people on camera now even though i'm not an fps player by heart you know I, I did play a lot of this beta before it was closed down so i think i can speak I think I can speak well when it comes to like evaluating the experience of the game and what it provided. But um, anyways, from what I played, Yuki, it's interesting that you brought up the fact that the Titans are actually somewhat balanced because, in my own opinion, I feel like the Titans, to be honest, are almost sort of in a disadvantage because there's so many places for you to hide as a player. Like right now, you're, you're beating this Titan down and he has no real way of getting at you because there are places inside of buildings and whatnot. And on top of it all, you can you can hitchhike on the titans and you can go on top of them blow their brains out you know there's a lot of ways that players can take advantage of titans so when you're a titan it almost feels like you're a big target and as soon as you're in a yes. titan you're the center of attention and you have everyone gunning for you to the point where you almost can't even do anything sometimes you know yes i agree <laughs> it most definitely yeah, is it, it, it is uh, it is a challenge but then like i don't know it's just it brings another fun aspect with the game i think like the action is yeah. non-stop there's always something going on i feel which is more so than mm -hmm. call of duty ghosts at the moment um yeah but one thing as far as being overpowered before the gameplay runs out that we should touch up on is like maybe <laughs> oh, yeah, possibly right. the burn cards that they offer us like some of the burn cards that they have is like exploding t like exploding route sniper rifles and then the light machine guns that they have are like pretty op things and then they have other things like where you have a you could instantly see through walls it's like uh, having a, a auto aimer constantly where you could always know where other people are or it's like a, some sort of hunter mode where you always have invincibility uh i don't oh, know like those things man. i might feel that may be overpowered in the game or might kind of throw off the game's balance like uh, one thing yeah, i didn't like I about halo is where if you knew where all the op weapons were you instantly just like dominated in the game so it could just mm -hmm. like throw the entire match exactly yeah so. it, I, I totally agree <laughs> yeah some of those burn cards were I, I didn't even know there was a burn card like like the hunter one you said like you have brief and vulnerability that's insane man. That, yeah you just run around little... as long as you don't get killed like you're invisible the whole time which i mean you can still see people but it still is a, a yeah. nuisance <laughs> yeah exactly exactly yeah even, even though you can see in, invisible players it's still like if you aren't aware or if you aren't like you don't have an eye for it at the moment you can get overtaken by somebody who's using the cloak quite easily so i mean yeah th those burn cards man hopefully there will be some more regulation when it comes to how much you can use them or how frequently or maybe not get three burn cards to use in a match or maybe just one or I don't know. They, they, like, what do you feel like they could do to maybe balance out the burn cards per se? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I I like the burn card system. Like, I'm gonna use the fuck out of them, and then when I get something <laughs> that's gonna be OP, I'm definitely gonna you know OP the shit out of the game. But yeah, I can yeah. feel that other players might be frustrated by this. Like, to me, it doesn't matter. Like black ops 2 where people are just writing down you know heavy kill streaks that's fine they earned mm -hmm. it uh burn cards i feel uh i don't know i guess i just have to see like how the game officially plays once we actually have everything yeah. unlocked and like have everything yeah. there to kind of see how the game's gonna flow because like i said in the beginning the beta is like limited to what they gave us so there could be you know more abilities that your pilot or titan will have that will provide better checks and balances yeah exactly yeah, it's something that I guess we really can't evaluate at the moment. You know, you said it best when you said that, you know, we have to wait until we see how it really works with the game. But I mean, yeah. and that's another concern. Um, now, so now let's just change the topic up a little bit and go towards, um, even though I don't like talking negatively about certain things, especially when I enjoy them, we definitely have to address some stuff. Um, now, I don't know if any of you on camera have seen, but I'm um, Angry Joe expressed some concern with the game and saying that it's um, we're almost at launch day and a lot of the details about the game in terms of like the story mode and other features that aren't, that weren't, or rather weren't shown in the beta. And um, to be honest, I think, what's the name of the company that's doing this, by the way? I just temporarily forgot. Respawn. I believe it's Respawn. Respawn. Entertainment. Yeah, Respawn. And um, Angry Joe con expressed concern saying that Respawn's being pretty tight lipped about all the stuff that should be coming out considering how close we are to the launch. And uh, he said that because of this, he has concern that the game will lack features and lack functions. And even though it sounds crazy saying this for a next-gen title, um, 
What do you what do you feel about it? What are your concerns with this? Uh, I honestly didn't watch the Angry Joe video, but as yeah. far as anything lacking features, like I don't know. I think they're trying to keep it tight lipped so that you know we're kind of surprised with what's in the game. Like I guess yeah. uh, to really give us a shock and awe factor with it when it drops. Hopefully that's what they're doing. Is they're yeah, keeping know, everything right? reserved just so that nothing's spoiled. Like yeah. one thing I hate about like let's just use this as a reference for like movies. Like if you ever seen a funny movie recently, a lot of them kind of suck. And that's because yep. when you watch the trailers, like they deliver all the punchlines in the trailer. So when you actually go see the movie and see the full story, all the punchlines in the movie was the trailer. And so you're yeah. just better off watching the trailer. So I think that's probably <laughs> what they're doing with the game, maybe, is they're trying to like, you know, they, they showed us a little bit of the game. They showed us like what can be done, how it's played and, you know, what to expect as far as how it's going to be enjoyed. But yeah. they still reserved everything as far as the full grand scale of what exactly how the game's going to play because anyone who maybe made a video as far as like, you know, tactics or how to play with this Titan is, is kind of like a useless video. Like, uh, like with yeah. my video where I talked about the best classes as far as uh, I found in the beta, that video is going to be absolutely useless when the full game comes out when we see all the perks and all the weapons. Yeah, exactly. I feel, I feel the same way. You know, there's no way that a game like this can lack features. You know, that just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Respawn is pissed as fuck. This is them just telling Activision and Treyarch, or I guess Activision and uh, the other people, to basically go F themselves that they're going to yep. make a better game. <laughs> exactly. That's what it feels like, you know?